Hello, so the first part of using a spreadsheet program, whether it's Microsoft Excel, Lotus Notes, or these sorts of things, is creating a new file. We'll be using Google Drive and Google's Sheets program in order to give some sample spreadsheets as we go along in these video tutorials. Here in our Google Drive, we have a couple options. You can go into the folder you want to be in for the actual file, right-click somewhere on the screen, and click on a Google Sheet for a new sheet. You can also create them from a template. Now, wherever you are in Google Drive, you can also click on the big new plus button in the top left-hand corner to get the same menu for creating a brand new sheet. This will create the sheet inside the folder that you are in. But if you just want to create a new sheet when you're on the fly, you can actually do that using a URL. So anytime you're in a browser and you type in sheets.new, you'll get a brand new Google Sheet. When it's created, it has a very boring file name of Untitled Spreadsheet. And every time you create a new one, it will just be called Untitled Spreadsheet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a very meaningful name. Maybe something more appropriate than that, but I'm sure you get the point. Now we need to move our file because when you use sheets.new, it only places the file in your very basic My Drive folder. And organization of files is extremely crucial. So you'll select the Move icon and then go into the folder in which you want to have your files. For example, I have an other folder. Inside my other folder, I have my using spreadsheets for these video files and then my sample spreadsheets folder. I'll move my file there, and now I can see that my file will end up in my Google Drive. There's my meaningful file. And that's how you create a new blank Google Sheet.